Hello YouTube, today I am bringing you a DIY and this is a bar cart that I have so proudly made. Uh, it took me quite a while and I can say it was worth it. I custom made it so I'm going to be showing you how I did that today and all these pieces were bought at different times so it did take me a while to make and I'm going to show you how I did it. So I started off with this bar cart, well, I'm sorry, with this utility cart that I bought off of Ikea. It's a $30 cart and this is called the Summersault Sum Sunersta, <laughs> Sunersta from Ikea. Now I didn't want my bar cart to be white so I bought spray paint in gold and this is the primer that I used and the spray paint that I used for the gold. I laid out newspapers in my small patio that I have and I am priming it here. I left it on for 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, came back to the other side, primed the other side, and then left it out there for a good 15 to 20 minutes and then came back out and did the gold. Now, I did this, left it out for 20 minutes, did the other side, and then let it dry for a full two hours. I spray painted all of this gold. I also did the handle and I did the screws that come with it because you will be able to see the screw. So don't forget, if you're gonna spray paint this utility cart, make sure that you spray paint, that you spray paint the screws. I'm doing the shelving here and I didn't want them to just be white. I wanted them to be marble. So I bought this wallpaper off of Amazon and it was $12.99. It was, I believe, seven feet long. I was able to do all the shelves and I still have a little bit left. And this is a wallpaper so you can just undo the edge and then uh, it'll stick to wherever you want it to stick to. The way we're doing this is I measured it out, cut it out with the scissors, and I'm starting it off here, and I'm gonna fold it, do a small section, take out the air bubbles, and then just do that all the way through until I have done the whole thing and as much air bubbles have been taken out as possibly as possible because this wallpaper was kind of hard. It isn't the best when it comes to the air bubbles i noticed them a lot sometimes i would go through it take out as many air bubbles as i could and then five minutes later i'll notice that that same one was still there but i had taken it out already so just be really careful i took my time with it was as careful as i could and that's key because my other two were not as air bubble free as this one here i am doing the last piece and I did the same thing, just try to take out as many air bubbles as I could. And then I'm gonna go um, and do the sides and then I'm gonna turn it over and with an X-Acto knife, I'm gonna try to take out all the, little, all the little wallpapers that are gonna be at the end, like here, because the screws go in there. So you need to have that open so the screws can go in there. And an X-Acto knife was what I used. You can use scissors. X-Acto knife is just better because it is precise and smooth and fast. And here I am doing the last piece here. Just folding it in, sticking it into the back and cutting off the last piece. And it's gonna look like this. I took out a like I said, as much air bubbles as I could. This is all three of them. And now we're gonna start actually putting everything together. That's the, all the alcohol I had that I wanted to display. And like I said, I bought all these separate. So I bought this one for $4 at Home Goods. It's an ice bucket, it's clear. And these are my champagne bottles that I bought from Ikea. I believe they were $1.49. They don't fit on my second shelf, so I had to put them in here. Now on my top, on my middle one, I'm gonna put the glasses in there. And these are my wine glasses I bought for display because I have other ones. They were $4 each. My martini glasses that I bought off Ikea, they were $2.49 each. This is my margarita glasses, my margarita glasses, $2.49, also at Ikea. And these are what I believe are like the Scott, 
no, whiskey glasses, $3.99 for four of them. So they were basically a dollar each. It was a steal at Marshall's. And they're pretty heavy duty. I like those. And I'm also going to put here the grenadine that I already had and the simple syrup I had. I was also wanting to buy bitters, but I just didn't know which ones I wanted. So I still have to purchase those and I'm going to put them in this middle part too. Now the top part is like your display area. That's And I bought this mirror here from Target. It was $5, I believe. And I bought this canister, I'm going to call it a canister, a wannabe water jug for $4 at Home Goods. And I bought it because it was gold. And this is my shaker. The shaker was what I was really, really picky about. I bought this at Tuesday morning, I believe. It was $15. And I bought this set at Target. It comes with a stir a battle opener and the measure that you need the measure cup thing that you need for the alcohol and it was the same exact shade of gold that the can that the shaker is and that's why I bought it it was 1538 this is a mason jar the dollar store these are stirs that I bought at home goods and these are straws these are just display items because that's really what the top level is it's just a display item and this is my stir. It's all gonna go in that. And this is a little plant I bought at Marshall's. It was for $6.99. I thought it was so cute. It just tied everything together. And this is a stopper. I wanna call it a wine stopper because that's really what it is. And this is it before it's finished. Here it's finished. <laughs> this is what it looks like. I, the top level is my display level, second one has all my glasses, and my third one has my alcohol. My bottom level has the alcohol and the glasses that didn't fit, and the ice bucket. And here it is again. You can do whatever you would want. You can include shot glasses. This is just everything that I bought that I wanted to display. I took my time, I was really picky on everything I wanted. I wanted certain things, certain colors. So I, it took me a while. I loved the result. It is a very, very cool piece in my condo. And it doesn't roll, so it's perfect because it's not gonna go away. I'm just scared of anything falling, but this is the end result. I hope you liked it and i'll see you later talk to you later bye